What is going on guys? Bangalore again here coming back at you with another video today back on Giant Franchise. Please subscribe if you're not already. Let's try to hit 1,000 likes per usual. We got a big game on the schedule today. They are 1 and 2, but they should not be any less dangerous than they usually are. We're going to play the full game today. What is their overall? 89. Pretty good for the Philadelphia Eagles. We're going to need all the firepower we can get. But before we hop into that game, let's go ahead and use some of our skill points on OV. As power rushing is going to be the easy option for me here. Get him up to hopefully like 89 power move. 90 would be sick. Hopefully that would generate a lot of pressure. But he hasn't really been getting there as much as I want him to. And we don't get any power move upgrade whatsoever. That's a little bit disappointing to see. Morris Dubose, though. I'm going to go man-to-man -man again. He goes up to an 87 overall. Show me man. Man coverage plus three. That makes up for it. 89 man coverage. Need to get that up as high as we can. Zone coverage is uh, not as good as we'd like it to be. But uh, we're going to try to run a lot more man. We're, you know, a man scheme fit. It just makes the most sense. It just makes the most sense. Anyone else have any skill points I'm missing out on? I don't think so. Maybe Howard Russell? Nope. Wayne Gallman. Doesn't look like anybody does, but this is a huge game today. And let's name some new captains. We're finally going to do it. Saquon Barkley. You've earned it. You are a new team captain. So now we have Odell. We have Saquon Barkley. Kyle Aletta has not earned it yet. I'll tell you that right now. Defensively, we have... I believe Damon Harrison. He's a captain. We have named Landon Collins as a captain. How many captains can we have? Up to five? I don't know that anybody else really has earned it. Olivier Vernon, maybe. Will Hernandez is definitely a candidate for it. We'll see how he progresses. Right now, I think we're going to be fine at the four captains. Maybe we'll name a special teams captain. And um, I guess that would be Aldrich Rosas. So he will be a captain as well. But that's it. Nobody else for the time being. Let's go ahead and scout. Looking at cornerback. Looking at cornerback. So Rayshon Hickman has B minus zone as well. Or man, excuse me. He is a really, really good player. What about Carol Stevens? Terrible. Calvin Carpenter. Not that great. Nate Moore. Terrible. Desmond Singleton could be good. He's all right. Three, I, that's fine. He's all right. Not going to watch him. Trayvon Clancy, terrible. Wow, a lot of these players are just straight up not good. Just not good. But the top two cornerbacks in this class are fantastic. Rayshon Hickman is really jumping out to me. Let's hope he runs a good 40. We might look to, uh, look to go after him. Because if you go to the Trade Center, and you can see your picks in other areas as well. But this is really just where I want to see it quickly. We don't have a ton of picks, but what we do have is extremely valuable, and that is four first-round picks. I know, unrealistic. Sucks to suck. It's what we got. And then no two, no three. We got a four and a seven without a five or a six. So I could look to trade one of those first-rounders down for a two and a three, something like that. Might look to do that, but enough dilly-dallying. We got the Philadelphia Eagles on the schedule in Philadelphia at Lincoln Financial. We are up to an 82 overall, and we're coming for the jugular. Carson Wentz coming out all by himself, for sure. Saquon Barkley getting BJ Goodson hype. He's got that C now. It's his responsibility. Fire everybody up. They show Saquon every single game. Every single game before the game. They're like, here's what Saquon Barkley did. But he was a beast. He always is. 11 minutes in the first, second, and third. Maybe even the fourth quarter as well. This is going to be a long one. It's going to be a good one. Let's keep up with the Eagles. Third and four. I can I can man up Dallas Godard. He's a tight end. Tried to bait him. That's a great play by Janoris Jenkins. Would have loved to pick there, as it shouldn't be that hard to jump in front of a running back. But, uh, you know, you know, beggars can't be choosers. We'll take the punt from Brad Norman. And I still haven't cut this guy. I don't know how Wallace is still on this team. All right, let's get it going. First and 10. Evan Ingram. Maybe we had Odell. I've been throwing too many picks when Odell's open, so I got to stop that. Is this holding? Show me defensive holding. Show me defensive pass interference. Do not show me holding on the offense. 
Uh, Eric Faison, the rookie right tackle, going to negate a first down. That's going to be a fumble. Can we pick it up at least? That's great work. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be a brutal game. Oh, come on. We need better coverage there. Of course, I'm always going for the ball. Tedrick Thompson's in the game. That's maybe why. Oh, I try to get on that. He's throwing. That's wide open. Was I supposed to be on Dallas Godert there? There's certainly a possibility because he was wide open. We were... Dude, I audible to man. There's no way. All right, let's try to move the ball. Step one. I mean, it worked out. I, I kind of had to hit turbo there because if I didn't, we were never going to be able to get as far as we did. I think running is uh, extremely flawed this year. That's just my opinion, but... I mean, for what it's worth, I feel like it's pretty valuable in that sense. A lot of people don't like running, and I hate it. Love Red Ellison, though. <laughs> First down. We're going to throw it up to Russell. Oh, my God. He almost made a one-handed catch. Kind of had one-on-one, -on -one, and then it developed to two-on-one -on -one very quickly. Thought he maybe had a step. Didn't quite have it. All right, third and ten. Let's see if we have more than a second to throw the football. We're going to take the deep shot. Is that pass to safety? It's not, but Sterling Shepard makes the play anyway. Sterling Shepard, 60 yards to the house. Oh, my goodness. I'll take it. Was he ever down? The ball popped out. I didn't hear a whistle. I needed... Well, I did, but... I don't know if he was ever down. Um, we're just getting annihilated right now. I know it's 7-7. Seven, seven. It's kind of lucky. Jay Jai is running all over us. Eight rushes, 54 yards. Turn up the sliders. Yeah, clearly not, because... I mean, we're getting destroyed. Like, you know, two sacks in a game is too many. Fucking Christ. Somebody get there. It's another huge game. Rip the ball out. Please, I'm begging you. Somebody do something, man. We barely stopped them there on fourth and inches. Looks like they're going to kick a field goal. But it was like third and two. He got a two-yard gain. It sets up the field goal nicely, though. That's going to swoop right in. And it's 10-7 Eagles. Go Saquon. Go Saquon! Let's go, baby! Saquon Barkley! Outrun him! Please! Saquon! Breaks the tackle! Let's go! By far the longest run of the series. Saquon Barkley. Show me something. Thank you. Vanilla Vic. Kyle Laletta touchdown! Let's get it. Kyle Laletta with his first career rushing touchdown in the regular season. Vanilla Vic. Taste the end zone glory this time in the regular season. And we are going to take a 14 to 10 lead. All right. He is averaging 6.8 yards per carry. This is where people wouldn't complain, but they should. That maybe the CPU run blocking at 85 is slightly too high. But, uh, nope. This is just, ah, oh, it should be this hard. And it's just, uh, Every play. It's really, it's tough. And a run. Get over there, please. <laughs> Anything we can do to stop JHI. It's, it's a consistent three plus yards per carry no matter what. If, if we're effective, we're holding him to three yards. That would be our best case scenario. Doesn't even matter who it is. Just any running back. Corey Clement, first down. We got to keep him out of the end zone. We need to hold the lead. That's mine. Easy reads. User pick. Hop on pop. That's how we force turnovers. We got to bait the quarterback. BJ Goodson with the interception. First turnover of the game. And it's a gigantic one. 
Here we go. Somebody get open. It's going to be Odell. Make the play. He drops the ball. That's a pretty good ball, too. I mean, we need that catch. I'm going to need that all day, and it's just not happening. There's Howard Russell, though. I'll take that. We have three timeouts. We're going to move into the hurry up, though. Let's call this. Let's just somebody get open. Somebody make a play. Act like you want to be here today. Step up. Throw it on the run and on the money. Sterling Shepard. We're going to call our first time out. It's a streak. Okay. We just need time. Just give me time. We got one-on-one. -on -one. Kyle Aletta up to Russell. I need a flag. Thank you. Thank you. Not a great throw. Maybe he should have rack caught, but I'll take the pass interference. Checking down. It's Erickson. He's going to step out at the five. It's a pretty decent pickup. Maybe had Odell. I'm not going to risk throwing it into just that heavy traffic just because we're going to wait for something. I'll take the drag. I'll take something else. Live to die another day. And there's Odell. That's a touchdown. It should be 21 to 10 before the half. We are playing today. <laughs> 21-10 New York Giants over the Philadelphia Eagles. It didn't look like this was going to be the score at, uh, at one point in this game, but we've really come alive here. Defense has stepped up. Offense has really played well. All it took was that spark plug of that Sterling Shepard touchdown. And we've been, we've been cooking ever since. Defense, they have to improve, though. Saquon is off to the races again. Saquon Barkley is unstoppable today. Both running games have been super, super strong. And I'm going to say, honestly, now ours particularly has been. We haven't run it that much. But Kyle, that has a rushing touchdown. Saquon, I, didn't, I said his name weird, has been unstoppable. Here's Wayne Gallman. Tried to spin it back through, uh, through the hole. Didn't really work. There's Odell. Come on! What a catch, Odell Beckham Jr. In traffic. What a ball from Kyle Lalletta. And this offense is moving here today. It's going to be 28 to 10 as long as I don't shank this. Looks like I haven't. Odell Beckham Jr. with his second touchdown on the day. We are really playing well. Third and five. This is a really, really important play. This could be the dagger if we can get the ball back and score without allowing a score of the, their own. And that's going to be a huge sack. Olivier Vernon brings down Carson Wentz, and they're going to punt the football right back. Saquon back in the game. Perhaps we can resume some of his success already. And we're going to get to the outside. It's going to be Saquon Barkley again. Another huge gain. Nine rushes, 152 yards. What are you doing today, Saquon? I'm really waiting on a Howard Russell to show me something. He looks like he could be a beast. What am I doing here? I don't, I don't know what I did. Derek Barnett with the sack there. Tried to step up in the pocket a little bit, and he sprinted up in the pocket. That was a little bit frustrating. We can't capitalize, but uh, let's see if we can pin him deep. Ah, too much power on the sky kick. A little bit too much. Don't celebrate. The Eagles are probably going to have to pass the ball quite a bit at this point. As uh, they are down by 18. With not that much time to play. And that is a huge hit. How do you hold on to the ball there? Alright, it's Alshon Jeffrey. He's a very good player. But, uh... I'm going to need that. All right, two huge stops in a row makes this third and 10. And that's going to be a sack. Carson Wentz rolled right into it. Roman Pugh only credited with half. Who else would have been there? What do you mean? It's a long kick. That's going to be wide right. Jake Elliott missed the field goal. What are you doing? It's actually been quite some time since we've gained a positive yard with Saquon Barkley. 
Looks like the Eagles are really keying in on this. We're going to run the ball, though, on third and 13. They're playing against the clock now. We'll see what we can do. And that is just... That shed almost instantly. You guys, you guys maybe see how I'm having some trouble here in the second half running the ball. 14 for 151. We had like 9 for 152. This has been a disaster. Let's just see if they keep running the ball for the rest of the half. I mean, you're down by 18. That's three scores, best case scenario. And they're going to keep running the ball. I mean, it's their... It has been their most effective way to move it, to be honest. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's just bad by me. Carson Wentz only has about 120 yards throwing, probably because they've run the ball about every play. And they've been effective when throwing it. We can't really stop them. Sh sh stop them for obvious reasons. About 150 yards, 13 passes. They've thrown the ball 16 times. Guess what? Keep running the ball. I don't care. I, I mean... You're, you're going to lose because the time's going to run out. So. It's not any of my concern. That's a user pick. Easy reads. It's Antoine Todd. Good night, Moon. And good night to the Philadelphia Eagles. Get user pick twice in the same game. I'm going to try aggressive blocking now. Because we're in a, a situation, holding doesn't hurt us too much, and it should only, you know, open up the way for us to run the ball even more and more effectively. So I'm going to take that, Saquon. Nearing 200 yards. Would love to get that. It is kind of awesome. Especially if we have more time to throw. I love more time to throw. Look at that. Wide open. Sterling Shepard. Just short. He's down at the one. I'm going to hand the ball off to Saquon Barkley. Get in the end zone. Saquon Barkley. Touchdown. Finally, he gets in the end zone in this game. It's unbelievable that he hasn't. But it is going to lead to a 35 to 10 score. And this very well could be your final. Saquon's got about 181, 182 yards rushing. It's going to be unlikely at this point that he can eclipse 200, but I'm shooting for it. Oh man, that's almost intercepted. Carson Wentz with a beautiful touch pass over me as the user with BJ Goodson. We switched on to Landon Collins. We were not going to let that get completed. Nearly had an interception. Let's see what they do here on third and two. I'm ready for the run. They're going to pass it. And that is easily completed. He's going to go deep. That's got to be a pick. It's picked off. Nat DeGear. The rookie out of BYU seals the game. He threw in a double coverage. What are you doing? And there it is. Saquon Barkley. For the first time in his career has eclipsed 200 yards in one game and what a game it has been i am not above throwing salt in the wound to a division rival on the road and here's saquon barkley well worth it well worth it for the extra yardage 16 plus on the pickup and that is the end of the game here and sure we really did take an unrealistic turn there at the end. Just trying to juice Saquon for over 200. But can you blame me? Can you blame me? Saquon Barkley. What a performance. Honestly. What a game. And this team played really well too. Vanilla Vic showed up. He had a fantastic game as well. As uh, we dominated the Eagles. Really just dominated them. Kyle Laletta. 200 plus yards passing. Three touchdowns, no interceptions. Carson Wentz threw three. Rushing, Jay Ajayi was nearly unstoppable, but Saquon Barkley was unstoppable. Rushing, saw that. Receiving, Sterling Shepard, three catches, 107 yards and a touchdown. Odell, four catches, 51 yards, two touchdowns. Also blocking, we got to improve. Trent Brown was annihilated this game by Derek Barnett. OV got a sack. Roman Pugh got credit for half with Damon Harrison. Not sure that worked. Nat DeGear, Antoine Todd, BJ Goodson, all with interceptions. And then forced fumbles. Fletcher Cox got one. And nobody recovered. No defensive touchdowns. But what a what a game. 
what a fun game but that's going to do it for me guys thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one take it easy